Hi guys, this is Lavender Town's Ghost, and this is not something I usually do, but this is basically a quick tutorial on how to pose an MMD model and then be able to 3D print that posed model. So first you have to do is, you know, get your model in here. Let's go ahead and go to wherever your model is stored. Mine is under models. And then let's just do Luca. Click OK on that, and there you go, you have your model. That function works for PMD and PMX models. So we have our model here, and then let's just say we want to have her crouched. All right, so there we go. We have our posed model. <laughs> Don't know why I want to 3D print that, but we have it posed. So you're going to click Select All, File, Save Pose Data, and then save to something. We're just going to save it as uh, Luca Crouch. Save. Then you're going to go over to PMX Editor which I have another model loaded already, but that's fine. You're just going to go ahead and click open. Go down to whatever model you used. We use Luca. And then you have her here. You can, you can use it with a different model than you set the pose in, but it works best if you just have the pose on the model. So don't, don't have to worry about arms crossing over incorrectly or something like that. I'm going to go to hit transform window. You're going to go down to edit, VPD file, load, and then user file, pose, and then ours is right here, Luca Crouch. Then we go to file, save model. It will save it as whatever the name of the model is, shape change. So click save there. X out of this, you're gonna go ahead and file, open. They're gonna open that shape change file. Open that, and then there we go. The um, dress looks a bit weird because of the uh, um, gravity, I think is what it's called, or motion. Whatever it is. We're not going to actually 3D print this, so it doesn't matter. That'll, if you um, adjust the settings, that'll, that, can, that will look normal. Anyway, so you're going to go over to File, Export, then click down here. Make sure you have it as an OBJ. And then you're going to click Save. Okay. Now you're going to go into, um, you do have a .obj, and some 3D printing things can read .obj's, or um, editors can read .obj's. I don't know which ones do and which ones don't. So the easiest way to turn it into an STL, which is what most files read, is just go ahead and open up Blender. Um, you'll have this box in the middle. Just go ahead and click Delete, and then click that again. And then go over to File, Import, .obj. Go over to wherever it's saved. Mine is Desktop, Make We Could Dance, User File, not Motion, Model. And then here we go. We have our Luca Shape Change, Import Object. Give it a chance to load. Look at that. There we go. There's Luca. So now you're going to want to save it. So you're going to go ahead to export. Go down to STL. Then you're going to export it into the same place just so you remember where it is. Document. Desktop. There we go. Make me a dance. User file. Models. And now you're going to want to make sure you give it a good name so that way you remember it. So I'm just going to save it as Luca Model. And then export STL. So now when you open up your file, you have, it is, Luca model STL. So we can delete this and I'll just show you how that would look now. Okay, we have Luca model STL. That, it's a bit blocky, but that's how 3D printers will read it. So there you go. Easy, like four minute, less than five minutes just easily pose a model and then have it ready for 3D printing. So, and this took me three days to find out because nobody else has tried this. So, there you go. Short little tutorial. Don't expect more of this. I just really needed to f figure out how to do this and then remember how to do it. So, I will see you guys next time. Or later. Bye!